Hello, good morning. This is Dr. Cool Auto Effects. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys four symptoms of a bad or a defective evaporator core in the car AC system. If you are new to my channel, be kind enough to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell icon to keep you alerted when I upload a new video. So the first thing I want to treat here is what is evaporator. Evaporator is just the opposite of condenser if you know what a condenser is. Then for the explanation which I'm going to give to it is uh, evaporator is designed to actually dissipate air cold or warm air that passes through it. But in this case, it's actually designed to dissipate cold or freezing temperatures, refrigerant that flows through it so it can actually evaporate it throughout to come out through these vents. And that is when you start getting a cold air coming out of the vent. So seemingly there is no way your car AC system is going to blow a cold air out of the vent without the evaporator that is hidden underneath this vent. Most of them are actually located underneath the vent. In the older vehicles, you can actually assess them directly under this glove compartment, but for the newer vehicles, you're gonna be finding it right at the center console of the very, of this car. Now let's get to it. The first symptoms you're going to be experiencing with a very a defective evaporator is the cold air that's coming out of the vent is weak. I mean, it is actually cold, but it's not chilling. I mean, you don't feel in the effect that very much the way you're supposed to. And that actually happens in some cases where you have uh, some debris and dirt clogging it up, uh, just a little bit of them. And that can actually happen when the pulling filter, which is somewhere sometimes in this glove compartment, or for like in this Jetta case here, is underneath here, this glove compartment, not inside the glove compartment. For most Toyota models, you're going to be finding them when you open this glove compartment. So if they are dead I mean if it's bad and you didn't replace it and you just allow that space to be like that then you're having some micro death going into the eye of that uh, evaporator you can actually condemn the evaporator by so doing because it's gonna it, it through those micro that will not be freezing will not be allowing it to get a lot, a lot of uh, freezing which is actually supposed to, freezing state which is supposed to be to allow that freezing which if the hot air that is being propelled by the blower motor that is here pushes that hot air through the evaporator is gonna condition that hot air or warm air into cold so if suppose that micro that goes to plug inside those eyes or the the uh the, the fins of your evaporator core then it won't even allow it to freeze the much it's supposed to before the time is to cut it off and therefore you're gonna be having a poor performance of your AC system that is number one right there and number two is you have some kind of a strange odor coming out of the AC system and this is actually due to a perforation over time that actually do occur inside the evaporator core and this perforation that occurs just allows some minimal permissible uh, refrigerant leak that comes out of it so this uh, technically speaking is a situation where you are inside a car you wind up completely like this uh, here no any air coming from inside or going outside but you have some air wick or whatever that you actually using to to make inside air freshener inside a car but you're perceiving a strange odor we're not talking about where you where you didn't touch this uh, recirculation button to keep any unwanted air outside out and not to allow them in we're talking about where this recirculation button is on but still 
each time you own the AC system, even when you're not in motion. There are two different things. When you're in motion and you're perceiving any some sort of uh, terrible odor, we can actually attribute it that the it could actually be coming from your evaporator. And we have a second situation where the car is not in motion. The car is just uh, at a stop, like you can see this very jet here is at a stop. But while the AC is working, you're perceiving a strange odor coming from there. Those strange odor can be very harmful because it's actually sometimes tetrafluoromethane. If the evaporator is actually uh, leaking refrigerant and it's gonna be coming directly into your own system so it's actually very harmful so in that state we can conclusively say that the evaporator is actually bad and need a replacement then the number three symptoms of a bad evaporator core is that the ac compressor will not activate Why is that? Because when there is a constant leak inside the AC evaporator core, the pressure parameters which has been set for the AC uh, high pressure sensor or AC pressure switch is not going to be attained and therefore the pressure is going to be lower and when it's lower it's not going to allow any power to flow into the compressor clutch core, magnetic clutch core and therefore the compressor is not going to engage. So for a huge leak inside evaporator is gonna create a disruption in the AC blowing warm air by not allowing the compressor to engage because there is no sufficient refrigerant inside the AC, com AC system circuitry. That is number three. Then the number four, the AC, uh, you, you, you have that kind of situation where the AC temperature fluctuates you know it's cold sometimes and it's warm sometimes now this is actually a typical case of a, a failed evaporator core how does it does that a lot of you guys are gonna be puzzled that how is it that the evaporator core can actually make the AC system temperature to vary and instead of to be constant now I actually uh, talked about this while I was trying to explain how the AC uh, evaporator core works initially. Let's say in a situation where the AC uh, pulling filter is depleted and you remove it or the technician remove it and forget to place it back and you have a lot of dead chunk of dead and leave plugging up the eyes of the evaporator core blocking the fins from F to pass through it now we have a problem there the first problem we're gonna be having is that there is there's gonna be little to no air flow across that condenser uh, evaporator core and that doesn't stop there the second part there is that those debris and deaths there in their normal state will not allow the evaporator core to freeze and therefore there's gonna be auto a poor cold air coming out of the vent and in this case it's gonna be a tug of war the compressor cold uh, refrigerant um liquid refrigerant that has been metered through the metering device is gonna be flowing through it and trying to freeze up the uh, evaporator and on the other hand the evaporator is gonna be trying to defreeze it not to those debris they are going to be trying to defreeze it so that is why you're going to be having a mixture of cold air on some part and not cold on the other part we're not talking about cold air in one vent in some vent let's say they drive the passenger side and uh, having a cold vent from the driver side or either way switch no we're talking about across the four vents where you're having the mixture so you have to take a hand feel to it to actually you know that all the temperature across it is actually fluctuating going up and down and it's not steady so that's a typical case of a a failed evaporator core but apart from this there is no any other way to actually determine that the evaporator core is bad in as much as you're replacing your pulling filter on time not to allow that to plug up the evaporator core 
and in as much as it doesn't have any perforation minor or major and in as much as there is no any other some sort of oil build up as a result of leak that actually plug it up and there is no any airflow across that con uh, evaporator core then you should be able to work very fine i hope you find this very useful to diagnosing a power system cooling or ac blowing warm air or ac blowing cold sometimes or warm sometimes in your car ac system if it does kindly subscribe to my channel which is absolutely free and you can unsubscribe at any time you you feel like i remain dr cool auto fix bye for now catch you up in my next video